Well, I want to thank Mars, and you're not going to believe this one. They're talking about building, can you believe this, igloos on Mars. It wouldn't be exactly the same as an Eskimo's igloo, but uh, first pioneers on Mars may build their homes using ice beneath their feet. In November, a University of Texas research team reported that Mars' Utopia Plantia region contains about as much water in the form of buried ice as Lake Superior does here on Earth. This ice layer, which spans a greater area than the state of New Mexico, lies in Mars' mid-northern latitudes and is covered by just 3 feet to 33 feet a soil, scientists determined. The presence of accessible ice on the red planet means part of the collaborative group of NASA Langley Engineering Design Studio in Hampton, Virginia. An expert team is chipping away at designing Mars Ice Home. It says it warms their heart, not means. Sorry. Uh, and that ice home is just, is more than just a habitat, since what we really need is a new home on Mars, said the ice home principal investigator Kevin Kempton of NASA's Langley Research Center. Our team is confident ice home is currently the best solution out there for an entire, for an early Mars outpost. Uh, so there's something you people aren't telling us. I mean, we're told there's no air pressure there, very little air pressure. And then, you're saying that they can live in igloos? That's what it's called. It's called an igloo. Ice home is a deploy deployable Mars habitat can concept based on inflatable structures that makes use of the water water ice on Red Planet. Ice Home can provide a large, flexible, and cost-effective workspace that can be used for many of the key activities that are essential for long-term success of a human outpost on Mars. Much of the cost-effectiveness comes from incorporation of Martian resources into the Ice Home, which means not as much material being needed to launch from Earth. They want to build an igloo there. As an added biological bonus, going to ice home advocates is that water serves water ice serves as a shielding from galactic cosmic rays, which have been flagged as potentially dangerous to human health on long duration Mars surface missions. An ice home could significantly reduce astronauts' GCR doses compared with what habitats based on aluminum structures. Kempton said. Well, yeah, uh, water, I, water is a good moderator. That much is true. Current habitat concepts do not address the GCR issue, whether they require burial beneath several meters of Martian soil, known as regolith, added Kempton, leads a design group that consists of clouds, Architecture office. All right, that's a bunch of bullshit. I'm not gonna read it. Uh, Ice Home would offer other benefits. To Mars out astronauts as well as as well. Captain said, "When we go to Mars, we'll need to stay there for a long time." Told Space.com, "We need to. We will need a place to service robotic equipment." that will be out there working for us in very difficult environments. Fixing things in a pressure suit out on Martian surface is a problem, Kempton said. Doing work while pressurized, wearing pressurized gloves is a lot like wearing clown gloves and simple things are hard to do and your hands get tired really quickly. Solution, Kempton says, we need a large pressurized workspace 
all you need is environment and you don't breathe potentially toxic dust and the equipment you're servicing. Okay, so we aren't exactly igloos, but I'm, uh, I'm wondering if these people have gone over the edge. I mean, you gotta provide for uh, human biological functions, let's put, put it that way. Uh, using ice to essentially build an igloo, a pressurized igloo. It's getting weirder and weirder. Oh, well. That's Mad Science Update for number one for today. Uh, I think it's all talk. We know that there's somebody there who probably doesn't want us there. I think this is all talk. You know, building igloos on Mars is getting weird. Weirder by day. Even though it's not an igloo and the exact sense. Anyway, I'm Artifacts Mars. Thanks for watching.